I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Time Spiral Remastered Draft Boosters is now $265. Hold the fort. There's good reason for that. There's crazy good reason for that. This, this box, I honestly thought that this was about maybe $150, $200. I don't know why I thought it was so cheap. Oh, what, what are these games back here? Well, Mortal Kombat, as you guys must know, is uh, it's probably one of my favorite games of all time. I started playing it when I was, oh my God, I don't even know how old I was, maybe eight, maybe nine. I remember my first experience, my brother had a sleepover. I have a brother, that's right. He's six years older than me. By the way, a lucky subscriber is going to get these two packs. Hooray! Um, we were listening to Easy E. Easy Mother E. That's right. And uh, we were uh, in, uh, in, my, in my bedroom. We had bunk beds, my brother and I, but he had a sleepover. And it was the very first time, oh, that's so cool, that I was exposed to uh, Mortal Frickin' Combat, man. Slaughter Pact. Oh, God, this set is beautiful. Beautiful and time of need. Gorgeous, gorgeous set. Followed by a sapperling. Uh, big shout-outs to MTG Attitude on YouTube. Better known as Big Box Dave. Big Box Dave has been very generous. I needed a quick video. Life has been freaking crazy and hectic lately. And this is the video I decided to go with. Uh, yeah. So now you guys know. What is this? Terror Sacrifice Expanse. Search your library for a basic land card. Put on that card is trash. We'll see ya. Um, yeah. Uh, that and also... Ooh, Cloud Key. I have a foil of this in the original version. Uh, and also um, Fallout, man. Freaking Fallout is dope. I love, I, I love Fallout. It's uh, it's probably one of my favorite games of all time as well. It's really freaking cool. I, I like how they integrated uh, the gameplay and everything. Um, it, RPG, yeah, sure. It, it's freaking a bang up. I'm not sure about all the, the entire series. I only played a few. Smallpox and Mary the Cursed. Right now we're off to a slow start, but I have a feeling we're going to step things up. Oh my god! Stonehorn Dignitary. That's probably worth a freaking few pennies. Oh, get a load of that shiner. Wow. That is breathtaking. We're going to get a price check. Isle Dignitary. Holy smother and type. First, we're going to sleeve that bad boy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Big Box Dave, thank you so much for sending this out. Holy freaking crap. These are the cards you want to see, baby. Let's get a price check on that. That's a crispy $10 bill, y'all. Holla at your boy, but I don't care. I didn't care if that was a dollar. Just look how magnificent that looks. That really is freaking good. We're going to take our time this opening, guys. So I hope you sit back, grab yourself some popcorn, maybe some Pringles. I bet you can't just eat one. Is it pop one? Whatever. Uh, yeah, we're in a more relaxed, chill mood today. <sighs> How else, you know? The holidays are over. The, the, the majority of the stress is gone. And I hope you guys are all having a fantastic, um, a fantastic 2022 Coalition Relic. There you go. And Thrag Tusk. Very nice, uh, rare. Uh, thrown in its uh, throwback form? I don't even know. Whatever. A lot of packs to crack, though. But this is a jolly freaking good time. But yeah. Good old uh, Mortal Kombat, man. Yeah, I was uh, Easy E was playing in the background. Here's something cool. The next day, or maybe not the next day, it was when Mortal Kombat 2 came out. So this was not the next day. This was a while later. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2 came out, and I remember I was in the living room playing uh, in, in my living room. Oh, shit balls. There you go. Hot freaking dogs. I hope you got ringing in your ears. That's a chalice of the void, baby. If that was a foil, you're looking at two hundred forty plus dollars. Ponder right now. Oh my goodness, we got to sleeve that. Ponder right now. Holy shit! I can't believe it's pulled chalice of the void. It looks gorgeous in its retro throwback form. Ponder in foil is now over two. It's two hundred fifty bucks. It has held up its price 
which I was not certain it would do. But it has kept a high price freaking tag, guys. <sighs> Unbelievable. Chalice of the Void never looked so good. Uh, but yeah, Mortal Kombat. I remember I pulled off a Fatality. Try it, Arbor. This card actually had a lot of... Uh, I don't even want to say the word, but there was a lot of drama around this card during a tournament, whether it was a land or not. And somebody got a little butt sore. That's right. That's right. Uh, Flicker Wisp. Who could tell me the story behind that one? Who can tell me the story behind that one? I'll tell you how to get your hands on these two packs. I'm going to crack them in this video also. Hopefully you guys get something really freaking juicy. Another garbage card. We'll see ya. Um, yeah, really freaking cool experience though. I pulled off a fatality just by mashing the buttons. And it was in Mortal Kombat 2. I felt so freaking cool. Eternal Witness. B-E-A. Beautiful. Man, these, uh, these retro throwback cards are freaking amazing. I hope they do another set like this. Not just Time Spiral remaster, Not just Time Spiral, but give us another remastered set. Give us another remastered set. You know, why the heck not? Magus of the Future. Was like almost bulk after the reprint, but slowly started ticking up in price. Alicia, who smiles at death. Be a beautiful, gorgeous little girl there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I wonder if any tokens are worth much. I have no idea. But what was your guys' first, or what's your favorite video game? What is your favorite video game? I, I paused for a second because I wanted to tell you mine. Um, yeah, Mortal Kombat I love. This is true. This is true. Ooh, the old shapeshifter. Cool looking card. With epic experiment. Not what you want to see there, but still not bad. It's just kind of mythic, right? Joda's Revenge. There you go, Joda. Um, that's another foil for us. But also for Nintendo. NES. I'll go back to this game again and again. The very first Dragon Warrior. Oh, man. I, I know a lot of you were Final Fantasy you know, fans out there. Yeah, yeah, Ballard, Task Mage. I know a lot of you are freaking Final Fantasy fans. I never got into Final Fantasy, but I, I, I mean, I, it's right up there with Dragon Warrior. It's, they just added more characters, basically. It's kind of like when Dragon Warrior 2 came out. 3, 4, oh, man. I only ended up playing those. When I had, uh, I bought a Nintendo USB port, and then I used a uh, emulator, and just ripped freaking uh, games offline or online. Angels of Salvation, <sighs> beautiful girl. We got a foil here. Ooh, Harvester of Souls. I feel like we're pulling like a lot of rare cards in this slot right here. Huh? Yavamaya Dryad. Mmm, gorgeous looking Sally. Gorgeous, gorgeous looking to Sally. Uh, from now on, Yavamaya Dryad is a, is a, it, it, we're going to call her Sally. There you go. Her name's Sally. All right, let's get some big hit. Actually, we already got a lot. Merciless. This dude's pissed. He just found out his wife was cheating. Never a good thing. Ethereal armor. Cool stuff. All right. Keeping it trucking. We're more, um, we're not even halfway through yet. But yeah, $265 a box. After tax, you're looking at close to 300 smackaroos for one of these, which is just mind-bending. Core Summoner's Pact, amazing card. Sees a heck ton of play. Followed by Kiki Jiki. Oh, yeah, that's a fun little hit. Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. We're getting a lot of rare and mythic in this slot. I I am I wrong? We are getting a lot of rare and mythic in this slot. That's probably a 20. Actually, that probably deserves a sleeve. That, um, that's probably a $20 card maybe right there. We gotta take care of that puppy. This box is on fire. If we pull one massive throwback foil, hot freaking dogs. <laughs> hot dogs is all I gotta say, man. Uh, but yeah, Dragon Warrior, freaking awesome. Let me guess, you're a Final Fantasy boy, Lotus Bloom. Very hot to trap box. This is almost like a collector box. I didn't realize how good this was. Silence! I kill you! We have fun. Who could tell me what that's from? All right, moving forward, moving forward. I saw him in person, by the way. What what I just quoted there? I saw him in person. This this this, this happened, man. At uh, one of the convention centers, uh, downtown Cleveland. Stuffy Dow. Speaking of Stuffy, I probably have bronchitis. It's yet to be determined. And again, another rare. Baral, Chief of Compliance. We are on fire, man. Um, I have to apologize right now. To all my patrons, 
who are waiting to see their name pop up. <sighs> Guys, please give me till tomorrow. I, I promise you. Just If I told you what's been going on in my life right now, you would understand. But I'm not going to divulge that kind of information right now. Another rare. Tassiger, the golden fangbanger. There you have it. Uh, but you would be very understanding. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm very sorry. There's no excuses. I will have it done tomorrow. I got the laptop. Everything's grand. Soon I'm going to post um, some more box openings, some more breaks, some more, uh, some more. Uh, when the moon hits the eye like a big hypergenesis pie, that's a past in flames. So we got a mythic there. That's pretty cool. Not a past in flames. Not bad. Um, yeah, enough said though. But uh, yeah, Fallout's a fun game too. It's like running around being silly. I, 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 again, I, I, I don't know what it is. There's something about the game though. It's really freaking cool. That's all I gotta say, man. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Bloop. Oh. I went boom in the womb. I was out the room. Unbelievable. We got ourselves a ninja. Hot dogs of the deep hours. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Nice little pull there. Silence! I kill you! Okay, here we go. Here we go. What else are we going to pull here? Thick, Trump, Mucky, Gauntlet of Power. So our Mythics are a little weak sauce, but still not bad. I mean, that might be a few bucks. Oh, yeah! That face. You like that? Good old Thoughtseize. God, I love a tease. Thoughtseize, you're so freaking generous to us right now. You go over here. You go over here. You go over here. You get a sleeve, actually, Thoughtseize. Wow. Uh, foil Thoughtseize is over $200 plus. I think it might be in the $300 range. But right now, this is what we're looking at for massive hits. I'm sure there's a few others I did not include, but that's what we're looking at right now. Down to, uh, we're, we're past halfway. This has been a lot of fun. Um, I'm having more fun than I thought I would. Street Wrath, just and the old <sighs> Arcanist. Followed by Beast Within. Oh, how's that song go? I was just listening to it the other night. Uh, Bat Country. How's it go? Something, something. Makes a man of himself. Gets rid of the pain of being a man. Something, something. The Beast gets rid of the pain of being a man. I can't remember for the life of me. The Suva! Hot dogs. We'll take it. A nice little light tap there. There's Vesuva. You may have Vesuva enter the battlefield tapped as a copy of, a la of any land on the battlefield. We got ourselves a revolutionary leap. It's Ves Vesuva's up there probably in like uh, cool cool cards, right? Throw it over there. And Fury Sliver. That's right, they brought Slivers back for this set. I keep doing that. Where am I putting the other cards? Is a really good question. What is going? What is... What is... What is... What is Boots and pants and 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 boots and pants. All right, you go over here. There we go. Here he comes to save the day. Joey's cracking up, everyone. We got it on film. All right, here we go. We are uh, probably three fifths of the way there. Let's get a big hit. We already got so many big hits. All right, cryptic, shore, paranoid, striver. Ha oh, yeah, you like that, baby? Tarmo motherfucking goif. Dave, you like that? Can you smell it? Oh, God, I smell it, man. It smells like the rock is cooking. Woo, doggy. It's not in a trap house. Tarmo freaking goif. That gets a sleeveroo. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. That's another rare. Lavinia, beautiful. And I'll oh, restore balance foil mythic. Hot diggity dogs. God, it's got to be a five to fifteen dollar bill. Easily, easily. We gotta put. We gotta sleeve Tarmogoyf, man. Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf has a throwback card, right? Sure he does. Sure he does. Oh my goodness. I gotta find some more sleeves. Value wise, here is where we are at. Oh yes. Oh yes. I hope we find another one of these retro foils. That'd be really cool. Um, not yet. But we're gonna crack it soon. And then I'm going to ask that great question. Oh, no. Open up the pit. I would love to find a foil ponder. I'm, I remember we had a big hunt, man. I probably opened about 20 boxes of this product. 
and we were looking for the big dogs. We never really pulled anything too fantastic in the retro foil though, which was kind of mind like like mind bending. Like my mind bent. Gray Merchant of Ass Poodles. Weird name, dude. Your mom gave you that. She's like, you're gonna be an ass poodle. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, big hit, big hit. I already, I smell it, I smell it. Benelish Commander, still a cool card. Not the biggest hit in the world, but pretty cool. Monastery Swift Spirit, that's a good one. Uh, crazy off-center, though. In uh, in foil, you're probably looking at 20 bucks, maybe maybe 30. Uh, it's up there, I'm sure. Wow, this slot is loaded with value. I'm just now realizing this. That's probably why these are 260 bucks uh a box. That's based on TCG player market value. Okay, here we go. Heartwood. Oh, yeah. Good old Heartwood. Big old wood heart. Remand. A remand foil is pretty nice as well. Very cool card. And the old gem hide sliver. Guys, this has been a, a real hoot. I like that there's not a crap ton of foils. Like, not every pack has a foil. You're like, why don't you like that? Because of scarcity, my dear Watson. That's why. All right, see what else? Urza's Factory. Pretty sweet sauce. Time Bender, Stone Cloaker. Mandera of Gordon Order. Sure, dude. Exile and Target Pro. Oh, that's not bad. The old Exile effect. Oh, Bajuka Bog. Not a bad card. I remember picking these up from the LGS. Uh, not that version, though. But, uh, yeah, I needed it for a deck. I needed it for a deck. Maybe I got one or two. I don't remember. It was a sideboard card, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. Lightning Axe, Keen Sense. Polymorph. There you go. No, Polymorph is actually a freaking insane card. Laboratory Maniac. Do a pull again. Nice in the uncommon slot. All right. Down to about eight packs. Again, thanks. Big Box Dave, MTG Attitude. You guys give him a look. He's freaking sweet. When I don't have a video up, you can go check them out. Pendle Haven. Oh, yes. Dee, dee, dee. Ding, ding, ding. We have a wiener. Hot dogs. I have a feeling we got something even better behind this. Yo, am I good or am I freaking great? Yogmith Threat <laughs> Physician. Who can predict this stuff? Only a psychic. Man, back to back mother truck and hits. You hear that? I hear it ringing. I hear it ringing, ding, 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 a ling. -ing. That gets a sleeve. Oh, man. When we call it, baby, we freaking call it. This is sick. Hit that like if you, uh, if you didn't believe I was going to call that one. But then we called it. Not only did I say we got it, we're going to have a big hit, we pulled the Sliver Legion, but then I said we're going to have something even bigger behind it. And then, bam, Yawgmuth comes out swinging, baby. <sighs> that felt so good. That felt so good, man. When you're on, you're on. You know what I'm saying? When you're on, you are on. Mm -hmm. Just to recap real quick, here's the freaking massive hits. There you go. Wow. Uh, 10... Ah, don't quote me on this. 50, so like 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I'm not sure of a super. 80, 90, 2, 10, 20. We're at 220. That's a rough guesstimate. Just for massive hits. That's not including all the small all, all the small talk. So just in big hits, big pools, we almost got the money back. Pretty freaking crazy. Here we go. Ah, Telerian West. Not bad. There's another blue land that's worth a lot. There's a couple blue lands worth a lot. Um, yeah, these non-basics, there's a couple. Field of Ruin. Hot <sighs> dogs. What's behind Field of Ruin? Oh, Dirkwood Balath. I do not believe we are going to pull ourselves another retro foil. I, I could be wrong. My head just hurt when I said that. So I might be wrong about that. Hopefully, if we do pull one, uh, it's it's one of you guys taking it home. Careful consideration. Gotta have that. And the old Eric's daughter. Eric, how is your daughter? She looks pretty pissed. All right. Sanguine Bond. Nice pull right there. Fun card. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. There is a infinite combo with that card. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's nuts, I know, I know. Keeping it trucking, though. Fun to pull off. People hate it in EDH. Skittering, Kelthorn, Hivestone. Hivestone, what else, what else? Delicious. Hedron Archive. All right. 
with a foil knight of Cersei. We are the knights who say me. All right, moving along. Trucking. I want to swear sometimes, but I hold back, guys. I hold back. Hit the like button if you appreciate that. Here we go. Two-headed sliver. Let's see what else. Something juicy, maybe. Mmm. That was a maybe. Drain ing whelk, followed by abrupt decay. That's a solid pool, too. There was a time this was ten to fifteen dollars. I don't know what it's at now, but you know, all good things come to pass. You know what I'm saying? There we go. We got two packs left for this, and then I'm gonna do the uh, the old giveaway, and I'm gonna get those cards shipped. Everything's gonna be shipped and finalized here uh, over the next uh, three days. Sudden spoiling. Oh, I love the art on this card. Some alcohol. Amagam. I can't say that. Amagam. Whatever. Wrathy Trapper. Uh huh. Foil. Okay. Down to my final pack, and then we have two packs to give out to you beautiful ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Lost Aramathars. Whippy. Sudden. Nether Trader. Nether Trader's not bad. It's pretty good. Any good foil here? Containment Priest. Pretty cool. For a throwback. I'd say we did Phantasmo. Let's take a look, though, at what's in these two packs. Good luck, ladies and germs. Um, I just want you to tell me how your 2022 is going so far. That is all. Tell me how your 2022 is going so far. Let's do this. Oh, man. Whoopsie doodle. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's see what we got cooking here, baby. Slipstream Serpent. Sure. What else? Fire, skittering, and the old feline of Havenwood. Okay, not bad. Uh, this is your cards. Cloud Shredder. <laughs> I gotta throw this over here. Here we go. Here, I'll just, uh, this whole pile is yours. One more pack. Will it be something freaking moist and juicy? We will find out. Let's see. Boom, boom, whippy. Pulmonic sliver. Be something good for my friend. Slimefoot. The stowaway's not bad. And Fathom Seer. There you go. So that closes it all out. One person's taking that, though, which is pretty dope. I'll throw in another trader for you guys. Bada bing. So, yeah, just let me know that. I appreciate you guys tuning into this one. I'm Joey Moss with Bad Boy MTG. Get out of here, skadoosh. Up for teenage crime